Defend yourself against DDoS attacks by hiding your true IP address with ExpressVPN. And visit my custom link expressvpn.com slash gillymaster in the description to find out how you can get an extra 3 months free. This week in GT Online, there are some very lucrative bonuses on the nightclub property that if utilized properly, can make you a lot of money during the event. And in this video, I will show you some strategic ways to use the nightclub business to do just that. And the good news is, it's actually not even that difficult to do. The nightclub business operates in two different areas, the cargo collecting and selling, and the passive income earned from the nightclub part of the business, the legitimate side. Both of which have bonuses applied to them this week. There are seven different cargo types that are each connected to your other businesses. For cargo and shipments, you have to own a CEO crate warehouse or a hangar. For sporting goods, that's to the bunker. Pharmaceutical research is the meth lab. South American imports is the cocaine factory. Organic produce is the weed farm. Printing and copying is the document forgery. And cash creation is the counterfeit cash business. If you want to accrue any of these goods, you will need to have that business up and running. You don't have to have it supplied with anything, but you just have to make sure it's up and running. Each cargo type will collect a specific amount before they cap out and take a certain amount of time before they do collect the crate, which is displayed by the box you're seeing right now on the screen. And based on this information, the five most profitable cargo types to assign your warehouse workers to would be the South American imports, the cargo and shipments, pharmaceutical research, sporting goods, and cash creation. And I even threw another box onto this so you can see the boosted speeds for this week's current event. Essentially, the production speed is doubled across the board. And this is, of course, assuming the nightclub is maxed out with all the possible upgrades you can do to it, which you should do. The other way that you can get cargo, which I can't really recommend, is by phoning up Johan and doing the cargo collection missions. These will give you double the amount of goods this week, and you'll also earn $22,000 per mission. So you get two crates and a decent chunk of cash for each one. However, the main reason why these aren't very reliable is because there's a 20 minute cooldown between each one. And I tried to do the cooldown skip method by going to the main menu and that did not work at all. Not to mention some of the missions take a while to do and involve you driving some slow vehicles across the map. So at that point, it's turning the nightclub into a worse CEO crate business, which is not what the nightclub is good at in my opinion. However, if you don't own one of the other businesses, I guess this could be a way for you to get crates without having to buy that other business. And the final way to get crates for the nightclub is through public lobby business battles, which I know how a lot of people feel about this, so I'm not really going to recommend it. Plus, it's kind of inconsistent as a method anyways, because you have to either lobby hop and hope that there's a business battle going on at the moment, or you just wait in a public session until a business battle activates. Now, if you are running the business by means of doing sell missions, then this would be the way to go about doing it, waiting until your crates cap out and then selling for a big profit. However, you would have to find a way to either AFK or just in general play for hours and hours a day for that to happen, which isn't that ideal for a lot of people. And as of right now, I don't even know if there is any AFK methods out there that you can just sit there and have your businesses fill up while you do nothing. I know for one, they did fix the cameras method from the last update, so me personally, this is not my recommended way of running the business. I don't really like to do AFK. The only time I've ever AFK'd was during the LS car meet days because that was like the only way you could get car meet reputation was by just sitting there AFKing in the car meet. I like to run an entirely passive nightclub setup with my business. So what I do is assign my warehouse workers to South American imports, cargo and shipments, pharmaceutical research, sporting goods, and organic produce. And you might be thinking, well, why do you do it that way? Why pick organic produce over cash creation if cash creation is more lucrative? Well, that's because doing it this way, we have meth, weed, and coke all piling up passively without me having to do any resupply activities or investments whatsoever. And then we can take that stock and go to the street dealers around the map each day and sell it to them. Because unlike the biker businesses, we're not really taking a loss in profits because we don't have to buy the supplies to then take the lowered sale cost on them. They just always accrue passively without our input at all. So this is just money sitting there basically. And the profits compared to doing an actual sell mission are not that lower. Take this dealer right here as an example. He's selling organic produce for $1,404 per unit. That's only $60 less per unit than our nightclub would sell for. And actually, if you factor in the 10% cut that Tony takes, the street dealer would actually be a better profit for us than if we were to sell it on an actual nightclub sell mission. And this way, you don't even have to mess with a sell mission. You just go to the dealers whenever you want to. And sometimes you'll even get a dealer with a special price on one of the items, which will put you even more in the green zone with that increased sale price. Less hassle, more profits. Ever since the street dealers were released, this is how I've always run my nightclub. Over time, you still might have to do sell missions because the other cargo types that the dealers don't sell will eventually cap out. But if you just want a 95% passive business where you don't have to do sell missions very often at all, this is my ideal way of doing it. 
The one major downside I can see from doing it this way though is you're not really going to be taking advantage of the high demand bonus because you're not going to be selling that often. But I know some people don't even like to mess with public sessions at all, so the high demand bonus isn't even a factor for them. But now let's get into the other half of the business, the part that's arguably the best and most lucrative side of it, the passive nightclub safe income. This week it is doubled, so at max popularity you will earn $100,000 every 48 minutes, which is insane. There are a few different ways you can raise your nightclub popularity. Number one, the most obvious one, is you can do promotion missions or magic missions, the same thing, vice versa. And these will have you doing various jobs ranging from simple to, man, this is really annoying. And if you do happen to have GTA Plus though, these nightclub promotion missions will give you double popularity for the whole month, so it will only take you two missions to max out the safe income, and for everyone else it's going to take four. And these do have a short cooldown, so you can't just spam them, however, you can do the cooldown skip by going to the main menu and then back into online in an event only session to skip that cooldown. For these though, I don't think it's worth it very much, there are better ways to gain nightclub popularity. The next way isn't really a consistent one, but if you do see a blue dot in your nightclub anytime you go in it, go and eject the customer for an easy boost to your popularity and $10,000. If it's a VIP, I wouldn't recommend doing that one because they sometimes make you drive far away and you are forced to drive very slow to avoid failing the mission, and me personally, I hate those types of missions. By far the best way to raise the nightclub popularity though is by heading to your nightclub basement, accessing the computer, and switching DJs back and forth for $10,000 each time. If you're starting this with zero popularity, you will have to switch DJs a total of 10 times because each switch gives you 10% popularity, which in the end will end up costing you $100,000 to max out your popularity, which sounds like a big investment, but remember, you're going to make $100,000 just from the passive income in one day, 48 minutes. And you're going to make that twice before the popularity actually drops enough to affect the daily income, in which case you can just come back, spend another 10,000 to switch DJs, and then max it out for another two more hours, earning you another 200k in that time. And this works out perfectly because you'll be forced to come back to the club anyways to collect the money from the safe because the safe itself only holds $250,000, so you'll want to come back and collect the money so you can keep earning the money at the intended rate so you don't cap out. The passive income truly is the bread and butter of the nightclub, especially after the buff that it got a while back, on top of the event link boosting it even further. $100,000 every 48 minutes from very little input from you, it's just great, it's amazing. And if you're wondering why do you have to go to the basement computer to do the DJ trick, it's because if you do it at the main computer in the nightclub, you'll have to watch a cutscene every time you switch DJs, and by going to the basement computer, there is no cutscene like that. But that is going to wrap up this nightclub guide for this current event week. Go out there and make some passive income very easily. And while you're waiting for your nightclub income to stack up, you can pretty much do whatever you want. Whether that be just messing around in free mode with friends, doing another business, anything really. If you guys enjoyed the video or found it helpful, feel free to leave a like as well as subscribe to my channel for more GT Online content. I also want to give a huge shout out to all my channel members for your support. If you'd like to become a member for some exclusive perks, you can now use the join button or the link that's down in the description. And as always, thanks for watching and have a great day.